Welcome back to the wonderful Terran vs. Protoss best of seven, that is innovation vs. stats. So far innovation has been putting on a clinic and has been deflecting everything that stats has been trying. In game one stats went for a macro build with lots of tech and a quick third. Innovation swatted it away and killed them with the follow up macro push. And in the second game stats went for an aggressive one base proxy oracle build which innovation defended perfectly. At this point in the best of seven, Innovation is up 2-0. His defensive play looks, exce looks exceptional. His ability to defend looks exceptional. His ability to execute and upgrade and go into macro games looks unbeatable. And Stats looks like the kind of player who, even though he's a guy who wins a lot and is often in the driver's seat and is very strong, he kind of has that look of someone who is used to winning and doesn't really know what to do because none of their builds work. And this is what happens when you play someone as good as Innovation. Innovation is someone who is just so good and so out of this world that things that work on almost everyone else you play just don't work because of how good his mechanics are. And Innovation is going for a CC first, so he's going to have a very big economy and this is exactly what Stats does not want to see is Innovation getting off to a big lead. Stats has opted for a gateway expand, so Innovation does have the macro lead with these early on builds, because if you look at the completion rate of these structures, the command center is much further ahead. Stats, of course, is scouting the wrong location. Actually, it looks like he's just going to make his proxy structure here, whether Innovation's down here or in the top right, it doesn't matter because this proxy will be in the right place. So I expect this to be Oracle, or Stargate into Oracle, and as soon as this pylon finishes, and he has the gas, he needs a little more, there it is. So the Stargate here is going to try to catch Innovation off guard, Innovation doesn't have any vision. And the thought process here with the Stargate is you go for the early Oracle, maybe Terran doesn't have an eBay, they don't have enough Marines, they're trying to go for like some quick tech, they don't have a Widow Mine. But Innovation has gone for three quick barracks, he's gotten a tech lab on one, I suspect that Stimpak will start as soon as he has 100 gas, and he has another barracks that has a reactor almost done and a third on the way. So Innovation will probably have a handful of Marines to defend against this proxied Stargate and the subsequent Oracles that will be made. And Stats is going to run a pylon in, see what Innovation has. Innovation is going to deflect it with the Marine. And of course Stats did not even get up the ramp so he has no idea. For all Stats knows, Innovation could have a factory up here and could have a Widow Mine buried in his main mineral line. Innovation intelligently completes his wall. The oracle is almost complete. Stats has quite a few workers. He's ahead of the Terran. He's making two more gates. And the first oracle comes out here. So this is going to be very important. How much damage this does is really going to dictate how the game goes. Void Ray follow up, so I think Stats is going to go for an all in. Two workers die, perhaps a third, and the mule goes down, so two SCVs, three SCVs, and then the oracle gets pushed away. So this void ray is really interesting. It's halfway done, it's being chronoed, but these four gates mean that Stats is really going for an aggressive push here. He's adding more gates, and Stats is going to fly into the main, see what Eno has. Eno can produce five marines at a time. This factory got delayed a little, that's kind of annoying. But at the end of the day, Innovation has the ability to make mines, he can tech into Starport, and he can produce five marines at a time, he can get bunkers if he needs it, but this is going to be a huge push. This Oracle scouting around to see what Inno has, Inno's tech into Starport, he's getting a factory. This is valuable because once Inno knows what's going on, he'll be able to double make mines, potentially. And he's scouting out, he sees the proxy pylon, so if we go to his vision, he might be able to deduce that something's up. But Stats, notice that this gas hasn't been taken. This isn't all in. He's relying all on this attack, this Void Ray Warp Gate bust. 
and if he doesn't break Innovation's natural here, he's not going to be able to win the game. Inno's starting double bunker here. This is a very aggressive build, a very interesting build. Stats does not want to play a macro game with Innovation. Innovation's producing two mines at a time. This could be very tricky because if we go to units, it's only the Oracle for detection. And Innovation starts a third bunker. He wants to send a little Marine scout out here. It's patrolling around. Stats' his pylon is completing here. He's starting to warp in. Makes a proxy gate so he can make reinforcements more quickly. And a lot of units here for Stats. This is a very sharp all in off of 42 probes. He can make quite a few units and the Void Rays are going to poke and prod. Cancels one of the bunkers but here comes the Widow Mine. And now the Revelation is going to have to come down. He doesn't quite have energy. So Innovation is holding off this push with Mines. He started a turret. This is great versus Stargate pushes. And he has SCVs preemptively repaired. There's the Revelation, so he sees the mine. Inno pulls the mine back. Very well done. He doesn't want the mine to get picked off. But Stats is, a, is an all-in. This He does have to commit at some point. He can't just hem haul around. Here he goes. Force fields onto the bunkers. Mass repair going down. Innovation stems. And he even stems with the units in the bunker. And here there's a lot of damage going on in the natural of Stats as Innovation does a little drop. And currently at the front door of innovation more force fields are going down but the mines have not gone off and suddenly stats is losing a lot of his adepts and he's losing a ton of probes so suddenly stats has to kill innovation with this push he's lost too many workers and these widow mines are going to go off and kill almost everything and suddenly stats has almost nothing left another mine comes out here for inno and stats gg so innovation's up three to zero. Oh. if you enjoyed this series there's one more game, but it looks like Innovation is going to be hard-pressed to get reverse swept here. You want to subscribe so you don't miss any of the subsequent games. Make sure you click the little bell icon so you don't miss game 4. And potentially games 5, 6, and 7, but Innovation's a monster, so it might be a sweep actually, guys.